What's going on everybody? I hope you guys are all doing great. So uh, today I wanted to bring you guys this video. Um, it's a little different. I don't have a script in front of me, so I'll record my voice here as I go with the video. So you guys have to pardon my uh, bad speech. Um, anyway, so um, I wanted to bring you guys this video this time on the Ryzen uh, DRAM calculator. Uh, this is a pretty handy tool uh, that I'm sure uh, maybe a lot of you out there have heard of this, um, but uh, perhaps you know a lot of you don't know how to use it. Um, I was one of them just a couple of weeks ago, uh, and then I um, I managed to get around to it and uh, learn a few tricks with this thing, just playing with it. Um, and I've also watched a couple of videos uh, on YouTube. Uh, by expert overclockers but uh, anyway so uh, if you want to uh, tweak out your memory times for your uh, Ryzen system this is a tool that you will that will definitely make your life a lot easier uh, Ryzen has been known from the beginning since first generation for you know having memory compatibilities and whatnot second generation a lot better RAM compatibility a lot a lot better stability but um, it is known, this is a common known fact that uh, Ryzen, AMD Ryzen CPUs do benefit from tighter timings, higher, you know, higher frequencies, uh, RAM frequencies that is. Uh, so that's, uh, that's something we're going to be taking a look at here briefly. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to put a link in the description below where you can find these two tools here that you're going to need. This is the, uh, obviously you need the Ryzen DRAM calculator and the other one that you're going to need is the Typhoon Burner. Um, this here is a must. Uh, you you want to uh, you have to get this here to be able to get in, get information uh, about your RAM and your timings and, and sub timings and all that stuff um, in order so that you can enter that information uh, in this um, uh, in, in this fields here. Okay, so um, let's go ahead. Uh, this is cut right to it um, first of all let's uh, let's go ahead and go to a website just to kind of show you guys where where to get this stuff um, let's see here so we have uh, typhoon burner and this is where you guys will go to download it go to the download tab and just click on the download uh, uh, link here but the next one will be the uh, uh, AMD uh, let's see this is uh, sorry Ryzen calculator here and uh, I got mine from uh, tech power up uh, this is one trusted site is probably the only site I trust when it comes to downloading this sort of things uh, and just click the, the link here and download it for yourselves so now that you've got, uh, once you install them and you open up uh, both of them, just set them here side by side to make your lives a lot easier. Uh, the first thing you want to do is click on read. And I usually go to my second uh, uh, slot here. Now here is the information that you're going to need. You got to pay attention to this. Um, first of all, you got to find out whether your memory is, uh, you know, what type of memory you have, whether you have Samsung B die, S die, you know, Hynix, Micron B die, whatever. Um, you will find that information uh, around this area here. So, first of all, it's Samsung, and this one is a B die uh, type of memory that I have uh, on, on this system here. This is my Intel system, by the way. This is not my Ryzen system, but this is the memory that I have here. Um, so, you're going to need to select B die here, okay? And then the profile version, uh, you know, just select one that's you know common. Um, unless you're using profile two, if your memory uh, XMP has uh, two profiles, you know. But um, the next thing you're gonna want to find out is the memory rank, and for that you're going to go here. So that's number one rank. Okay, so you select one, and th this here is important. So make sure you select uh, the maximum frequency your RAM is rated for. So for example, if you have a 3200 megahertz stick of RAM that's what you select here don't select something that is for example what you want to overclock to no select the the um, to starter to, to start with select your um, rated frequency to make life a lot easier you can go up higher but that means that you have to pay attention to your voltages and you know um, that's 
that's something that you you can do but you know that's that's on you um, so, so yeah select the what your RAM is rated for and then your uh, block frequency assuming that you haven't tampered with your block frequency mine is still at 100 so um, I'll set 100 here and I'm using two sticks of RAM so I'll select two and then click on RXMP and that'll give you some information here that you do not need to touch don't don't mess with that so now that the uh, the software here um, has uh, the information it needs to um, to calculate what type of speed you can you can tweak your RAM to uh, you have three options here you have um, calculate the safe and this is probably what I would recommend you begin with um, so here you can here you see it gives you the uh, the first uh, timings 14 uh, and then you and then you get get down to your sub timings also your recommended voltage and the maximum recommended voltage for this here uh, your socket on chip voltage as well a minimum recommended and max um, and your timings and you know all the information here that you're gonna have to put into or input yourself into the BIOS into under your memory settings. So yeah, this is the uh, safe um, route here. You also have uh, the next setting, which is uh, the faster setup or you know the faster setting. And you can see the difference here. The timings become a little tighter, as you can see there. But also your voltages go up, so you know you gotta be mindful of that. Uh, now, when it comes to voltages, you can go up to 1.5 easily, um, you know, and still be safe. But at, at that point, you want to be careful with temperature. So make sure that your RAM uh, has a nice heat sink on it, or you have enough ventilation in your case. Uh, once you start to go up up to those uh, voltages, so um, uh, yeah. So I, you know, for on my Ryzen system, I use the fast setting here. Uh, but to start with, uh, I would recommend I would recommend personally that you go with uh, uh, save, you know, the safe setting. It will still tweak out your memory for you, so don't worry. It's not like it's gonna go to default to the, the timings that you already have running on your memory. No, it'll 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 tweak them out for you, just not as extreme as you know this 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 other two here. Um, so yeah, you got your fast, and then you have your uh, extreme setting and here it tells you for this mode additional cooling of ram is mandatory so as you can see it'll further drop your timings um, but also your voltages go up so again be mindful of that guys so yeah um, how how will you go about putting uh, inputting this into your system well the easiest way to go about it is to take a picture with your cell phone take a, um, a screenshot of this or a, a photo with your cell phone um, and then reboot go into your bios um, and in my case i have an msi motherboard um, and you know manually input input um, these numbers here you know manually um, and sometimes you 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 see that uh, for example uh, let me see here um, uh, you, ha you have some some like names here that don't don't are missing a letter or whatnot but it's pretty common sense that you know it, it, it's it's just a different way that the manufacturers perhaps call it you know but um it'll usually have the dlr or you know f a w s l r so you'll know it, it and also um i haven't seen any of them that are off order um so you you know it'd be a good hint uh which one it is because it'll all most likely um, fall in this same order here so you'll be uh, tweaking them out in this order here as you see there so all this here you have to enter manually so you should be able to just scroll down on your bios and be able to enter all this information all this data there and make sure that you uh, change your voltage as well um, and I wouldn't use the XMP profile make sure you do everything manually and um, um, make, make sure that everything uh, is set manually and your CPU is not overclocked while you're doing this make sure everything you set you set everything to default um, and you start with this you tweak it out if you get a, a good boot um, you know going to Windows run a Cinebench benchmark you know maybe a couple of games check for stability if you feel comfortable the system is stable with, with, you know with the new timings then go ahead and overclock your CPU um, if you're for whatever for whatever reason you don't get a boot 
um, from doing this, don't worry. You're not, you have, you, you know, as long as you don't go up too high on the voltage, just like 1.7 or 1.6 or something like that, something crazy like that, you're not going to damage your memory. If, you, if your system doesn't boot, just go ahead and uh, reset the BIOS. Uh, usually there's a little button you can push uh, some of these newer uh, motherboards uh, if you don't have anything like that to reset your BIOS just go ahead and take the little motherboard the little battery from the motherboard take that out wait about um, 10 seconds put the battery back in and that will reset your BIOS to default and that uh, you know you can keep trying and uh, until you get your your memory uh, up to speed um, but yeah this will definitely uh, give you a uh, you know, increase in performance especially when you're playing games uh, in gaming I have seen uh, increased up to 10, 10 frames per second, 15 frames per second on my uh, Ryzen X uh, 2700, uh, 2700X CPU just by tweaking out my uh, my RAM, my my uh, my sub timings on my memory. So I will be making a video of that uh, coming up. But today I just wanted to kind of just dedicate this to, you know, give you guys an idea how to use this tool here. And, um, you know, hopefully uh, it'll be helpful, helpful to someone out there. Uh, wondering how the heck to even you know, use this stuff here and here really quick I just wanted to show you guys what my BIOS looks like on my MSI motherboard uh, Remember that your BIOS uh, setup and how it looks will depend on the brand the manufacturer uh, Asus Gigabyte MSI or Ace Rock they'll you know look different so uh, But generally uh, the order in which the timings are set uh, generally they're in the same order as you see here uh, starting from the top, you know, you scroll your way down to the bottom, same as as you saw there on the rising calculator. Uh, it's pretty much um, self-explanatory. Um, just just make sure you enter all the uh, you know the, the settings correctly. And if you see some settings here that are not on the rising calculator, you don't see on the picture that you took there with your phone. Just leave that on auto. Uh, it's probably the reason why uh, the, you know they didn't include that information to begin with because you're not supposed to tamper with it. So um, I would guess I would assume that would be the the reason for it. So yeah, um, I'm gonna leave it here, guys. I hope this is helpful. And if you guys have any questions, maybe I forgot to add something here. Uh, let me know in the comment section. I will definitely take the time to respond to you guys. Any questions you have. Uh, but anyway, I will leave you guys. Uh, I will leave the video here. I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, please subscribe, uh, hit like if you like the video, and I will see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye.